Greetings! This is Darvan and welcome back to Let's Play Avernum. In the last episode we were fighting our way through to Grahoth. We're going to beat Grahoth. Uh, this room in here which was diabolical because there were four black shades which are invisible. Ah, oh. as well as two golems and oh my god the amount of summer monsters door is locked Okay, you can see a circle of painted runes on the floor to the middle of this chamber. When they start to get close to the entrance, you've got they start to glow red. The air starts to feel warm. Could be a trap. Take it or cut the seal. Let's take it. You try to lift the vase, but it's incredible hefty. No matter how much you strain, you can't lift it. Okay. So here's where the bottle is. Let's cut the seal. You carefully take the blessed, blessed Aphrame and cut off the lead seal. When you do, nothing happens of us. Then there is a sudden powerful explosion knocking you back against the walls. Foul gases pour from the bottle, choking you. <laughs> then, with a spine vibrating speech, an enormous clawed flaming monstrosity appears, floating above the bottle. The creature is a solid 20 feet tall pillar of muscle and claws. It stretches its arms clearly glad to be freed from its prison about the time you begin to return your senses it begins to study your surroundings it looks at you with contempt and amusement thank you immortals i could wreak great havoc from inside here but that was nothing compared to what i can do now i will not kill you yet but one day i believe you will come to me and when you do i will pay you for your service in full he then roars shatters the bottle with a carelessly tossed bolt of lightning and disappears now it is gone everything is quiet you feel very nervous. You aren't sure exactly what you have unleashed upon the world. Okay. No idea, let's step into the portal. Brings us back here. Is that it? Is that all it does? Okay. expecting a big massive fight. Never mind. <coughs> you return to Skargoth and stun by what you see. The fort has been decimated. Looks like it's received a punch in the centre from a huge fist blasting a tunnel through the whole structure and charring the rock. Rubble is strewn everywhere and the smoke hangs heavy in the air. The statues have changed since you've last been here. Inside the mist you can hear hisses and snarls. Something has been left inside the ruins to greet you. Oh, have they now? Okay. We 
can deal with imps. I think. Candor in combat though. Lightning! Carbo! Exorcise the demons! This is all that's been left now. There is a tiny imp sitting on the in the huge throne. It idly tosses little balls of flames from one claw to the other. What are you? Why are you here? Scrooge Law, I've been left to give you a little message. Just a little message here. It grins, displaying many tiny red razor sharp teeth. Out with it then. Mighty Grahoff cordially visits you to come vi invites you to come visit in, in him in his new fort he does why so he may freeze you why would he do that so that he could subject you to the full 1000 torments of the damned one after the other you will beg to be given the chance to betray all of Avernum if only to receive a moment's respite from your suffering okay where is this new fort it rolls around in the throne, twitching with excitement and amusement. Northwest, beyond the lake of lava. He summons you there for a fair fight. You better go or you are doomed. Grow off, here's the one who is doomed. The imp screeches. A hideous piercing noise that's painful and settling at all time. Oh no, he's going to kill you all, all of you. you sh he will have his revenge. He will freeze you where you stand and he we will abuse you for years and years. You will all die and die slow. We will kill him like we're about to kill you. And he will evade your blades like I'm about to. He laughs again and disappears. Only his voice stays in the air just for a moment. Soon your torment begins. Yes. Okay, we might need some help then. I think I know where that is, where the new fortress is. Go as planned, did it? <laughs> so 
Six times lava bat, okay. if you've noticed but I am not in the mood. Okay. Potion making herbs. Damn the lot of bats. Didn't we just... When these people get close to you, you grimly realise that they're an unusually large pack of bandits. They aren't pleased to see you in their territory. Fortunately, they don't attack you right away. Their leader demands a hundred gold coins from you in return for your safe passage. saying divine fire You were saying a difficult fight. A Vernum has been rid of another horde of bandits. Their leader has a beautiful halberd strapped to its back. You take it. Yay! What halberd is that? Not identical. Okay.
Okay, tiny patch of burnish mold. So that's two bits of mold now. Three bits of mold. Uh, mold free. Yep. so satisfying. That looks like it might be a bit more there. In Erica's tower. Wonder if we can hop across to it. You're gonna let me hop across the orb. Time to report our dismal failure before we go and truly fight Grothoth. We know where he is, he's in the, <coughs> the fortress to the northeast. At uh, northwest, rather. You know that, you don't know how it can be done because it's sealed pa that passage there.
thought saffron has survived. Schedule of potions, silver locks hut, let's see. Knowledge brew. Seven hundred. Uh let's give it to you. Eighteen skill points and twenty three skill points. Not that we're going to train anywhere yet. Oh no. You're not training until we get to Barga. Just has that completed the crit or do I have to destroy him completely? I know it sounds like such a stupid question, but you never know with some of these. Some of these it will be like, oh no, now you must go and I know, and you can't get in until you've done it. <coughs> Tell me about Groth. Okay. Where can we find? How can we get to Grahos Fortress? Yep, you haven't told me anything, so I'm going to assume it's back to finding what's going on in Grahos Fortress. Because we've still got loads of stuff to do. Time to go to Barga. Am 
my boats here, so I like having a boat. Let's go and have let's go and have a look at this boat then. I've changed my mind. We are sailing. Half staff over there being picked up in the air. Approaches should cost you could probably escape if you wanted. No, let's attack. Them. <laughs> Eleven ogres and a combat mage. Blessed cloak. Do you have a blessed cloak? Yep, you have a blessed cloak. The ogres are dead. You search their huts. The filth and rotten carrion in their homes make you feel ill. The only had a handful, few handfuls of copper coins and a tarnished shield. You take them.
Magical Barriers So what exactly were you talking about then? So I could have got there. As I sus suspected, but now I know. Let's rest for a few hours in Erica's Tower. Hmm. Not really done much here, have we? Do you know what? See, we can, we need to go up there, but we're not going to go up there. Go to Baga. Anything here we couldn't get to? No. Okay. I don't think there was anything then under Baga for us to get to either. We'll take a quick look. <gasps> no. We do have all the password now though, though don't we? That's interesting.
We must not ask that. We must stay hidden. The enemy is everywhere. If you think I'm paranoid, think of the fort you attacked, hidden behind the gremlins. That is not the only one we know of. We believe there is a band of Empire spies in a cave to the giants, across the chasm south of the giant castle. I'd love to get to that group. I'd love to do with that group what we've done to others, but we can't. But we can't get to it. Icarus, we like he will take great risks to be close to the sun. come up from under Barga. Not really anything here. Okay, there is a large library to the west end of this room. Well, a large library by Vernum stands anyway. This must be the library X last you to locate. Now you can report back to me. Yeah, I tried that. Need some things identified. Let's see what we got to identify. Let's see a halberd. It's a blessed halberd. Okay. Small shield. It's a crystal shield. Figured it was, but never mind.
coming in. Let's have a look at you. Nine points. So your dexterity can go up. Nice. You have eight points, so your intelligence can go up. You have 23 points after spending them, so your free skills can go up. Yeah. And then we are going to leave that so that as soon as you get some more points, because we're at 38, we've only got two levels. We need to get to 18. That'll go up. That you, you've got 18 points. So your mage skills can go up. And we're going to do the same with you. Actually, what's your. Mm. Yeah, 12. Okay, and your potion making. There you go. That means we should now have the ability to make protection brew, restoration brew. Yeah, we've got to find out where that is. I don't know where the healing elixir is. Where did I not pick that up from? Hmm. <coughs> Rest in Barga. And then I think we're going to head east. Yay. The room sounds good. Thank you. Done. Got all of this, but we've got nowhere to sell it all. That's okay. Could sell it in Spire. Now we'll be coming. We'll be coming back here. So this is Big Darvain doing Let's Play Avernum. If you like what you're seeing here, be sure to like, subscribe, share, and comment. Please consider sponsoring me on Patreon so I can make more videos like this. And until next time, goodbye.